expensively if only one uses their imagination. For mere pennies of paint and fabric, you too can have this beautiful interior vision. This painting, for instance, was made with fabric scraps, bits of thread, embroidery floss, and jewels that I found in a treasure box by the ocean. It depicts a fairy in her natural habitat. This painting was uh, created directly on the wall and um, I did this on each corner of the room to sort of open the room and make it seem like a bigger place and like you were outside in a uh, sort of fantasy natural paradise. These, uh, the theme of this room is spring taking over winter. The um, gold part of this room was uh, made with a stencil and then I reused the same stencil and kept flipping it over and over and over to create these uh, beautiful vines. And then I hand painted the other flowers over the top. The ceiling was painted by hand and I already used some of the patterns of the stucco that were, were in the patterns of the ceiling when I painted the clouds so that it would sort of look natural and already be sort of in the pattern of what was there first so that it would look more 3D and realistic. This painting was created, it's not a fabric collage like the other one, it is more of a painting on fabric and the painting itself is made from na nail polish and acrylics and the, f the, uh, the, the fabric that it's painted on is an old fabric that has been treated to make it um, more uh, antique looking, antiqued, but it was already antique to begin with. It has a padding underneath it so that it's sort of pillowy and soft and then a frame around out of wood. I really love distressed wood. I love distressing things. I think that it looks really, um, it, it looks amazing. Like crackle paint, like you found something in a house fire and you just saved it. Um, that's what I did with this um, table. This table was handcrafted by my grandfather. It originally had a dark oak sort of veneer, but um, it was getting too mottled looking and, and too beat up. So what I did was I took this crackle paint and I refinished it again so that it was sort of working with the inconsistencies of the paint. Um, I also found a couple of these little things. They were gifts and, and um, we found them. And when you put things in the right way, it, creates a completely different mood and space. I feel like every part of the room should be its own space, its own little display, uh, multimedia display. And um, I love these little owls. They're, they're so cute. And they're also so weird. You gotta love cute but weird. It's the greatest. To create these butterflies, I made two kinds of stencils. One where the butterfly was facing forward and the other one where it was facing to the side. They were based on um, actual butterflies that I had and framed in a picture frame from the Victorian era. I used the gold spray paint to stencil them and then I painted directly on top of that. It didn't adhere completely, but it made it sort of come through thus creating a more realistic sort of natural effect with the, with, the, um, with the wings. I really like when things look um, like they're supposed to be natural, but they're just a little bit more so that it's surreal and supernatural. Um, these fixtures uh, I picked because I really like 
uh, the way that oil lamps and candles and things like that looked from the 1800s. These are, of course, electrical, but they still have the effect and that style. They mismatch, but I think that's okay. I really like things to sort of mismatch, but they're sort of the same type of theme, um, so that your whole world is one big patchwork. Um, crystal door handles may give your door sort of a um, fancy but folky touch. And uh, last but not least, these pillow dolls were created by making illustrative uh, stylings. One is the singing doll, and the other one is the pirate doll. They are pillows. Oh, so soft. I feel like I just want to go to sleep right now. But also dolls, so they can play. You can play with them. Get away from me, bitch! They are made with a beautiful rickrack, purple rickrack, and fabulous black and turquoise corduroy. These are one of a kind, um, hand sewn and created by, uh, designed by me, but also manufactured and created by my friend Jared Gold, who's a fantastic fashion designer as well. And speaking of fashion, I also hand sewed and created this one of a kind couture dress that I'm wearing this evening. Thank you, thank you. It is, it has beautiful abalone buttons and a lot of detailing. Um, to make this more of like the sexy granny look, I decided to have it have an open back. So, speaking of sewing, on to sewing.